Portsmouth police arrested a 19 year old accused of first degree murder. Jaquan Jones is facing charges after a person was found dead on Pebble Point Court. And tonight, those close to the victim are sharing memories. 13 News Now reporter Megan Purrier has the details of this investigation. Compassionate, concerned, involved, caring. The words go on and on. That's what he stood for. Barry Randall is talking about his friend Jamel Howell, whom he'll never see again. This is a great loss. I know that he was a, a, a loving husband, a loving father, um, but what I do know the most is that he cared about his community. Portsmouth police spent Tuesday night hosting a national night out event, a time for police officers to get to know the community better. They got a call hours later, about a mile from where the celebration took place. The call was about a man who was unconscious at Churchland Forest Apartments. The man was Howell, who later died. Wednesday afternoon, officers said they charged Jaquan Jones with his murder. Donovan Dunkley was Howell's co-worker. It's sad, you know, it's like, you don't want to see nobody die like so young. He's like 31 years old, you know, I mean, Come on now, he ain't lived life yet. I'm praying for his family and everything, you know, wish his family well. I know he had three kids. Randall says Howell was a great mechanic who helped anyone in trouble. I could text him or give him an inbox message and say, hey, so-and-so-and-so is stranded, can you help her? And he'll be like, already done, say no more. Randall also says it's time for the community to bring about change. It doesn't matter how well the police do their job. It doesn't matter how much these elected officials and community leaders speak up until there's an outrage from the community itself and the community say enough is enough, then things will continue to continue the way they've been. Sports and police say that they have a reset walk, which is where they'll go door to door to assure people in this complex tomorrow at four o'clock in Portsmouth. I'm Megan Perrier, 13 News Now.